With SmartPush, you can create data maps that copy data between Oracle APM Planning Cloud instances and from planning to financial consolidation and close, tax reporting, or profitability and cost management. You can export your data map, optionally modify it offline, and import it to another or the same Oracle Cloud EPM instance. I'll go to Data Maps in Data Exchange and open a data map. To learn how to create data maps, view the Mapping Planning Data Across Applications Part 1 and Part 2 videos. To export a data map, click Actions, then select Export Data Map. Save your file. To modify it, open it in Excel. The exported data maps workbook is structured similarly to the Edit Data Map dialog in the web UI. Basic information includes data map properties. The source and target cubes are listed, as well as an EPM connection if connecting to a remote cube. Source selection and target selection includes members I selected for the source application and the target application. Then, advanced mappings are in individual worksheets for each dimension. Let's look at the exported data map. You can modify the exported data map and choose to import it to replace an existing data map or import it as a new data map. In the basic info worksheet, you have the data map name, description, the source and target cube, and the EPM connection used if connecting to another Oracle Cloud EPM instance. In source selection, set your member selections for the source cube. Notice that a substitution variable was added as a source for entity. In target selection, select target members. Here are advanced member mappings, also called exceptions, for the account dimension. These three income accounts use simple mapping for a one-to-one -one association. Advanced mappings were set because the member names do not match in the source and target. These three expense accounts use roll-up mapping to copy data into the same account member. An operator is selected for each, addition in this example, to calculate the total value copied to the target member. For entity, notice that the source is mapped to multiple dimensions and the target. I'll change the region for Vision Robotics. In Unmapped Source and Unmapped Target, make sure to select members for dimensions listed. Save your changes. Let's go back to the web UI. To overwrite an existing data map, edit the data map, then import to it. When overwriting a data map, make sure that the data map names match in the web UI and the Excel file. I'll create a new data map and import to it. Click Actions, then select Import Data Map. Select your Excel file that contains the data map information. The Import Data Map dialog is displayed. Review each tab to verify that they match the contents of the imported file. You can make changes in this dialog. Then click Done. The new data map imported from the modified data map Excel file is displayed. You can continue to make changes to the data map. When finished, save and close the data map. Here's my imported data map. You can run the data map by associating it with a form. When you associate the data map with a form, you can choose to run the data map after data is saved in that form. You can also select Use Form Context to take the form's POV. This option is selected by default for all dimensions in the form. Save your changes. I'll open a form and enter data for the Vision Robotics entity. When I click Save, data is saved to the source planning application and then copied to my target planning application. I'll verify the target. Here's the target data copied from my source application into the Vision Robotics EMEA data point of view in my target. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.